Hi everybody, this is Sithi Readings and hi Virgo. Let's see what messages will show up for you guys. What do we have for Virgo, please? What do we have for Virgo? There will be a link in the description box for a reading about your person if you're interested to get bonus messages and advice. So it will be linked below if you would like. Letting go of something. I see you freeing yourself off of something, Virgo. Okay, this is a time period for you to... It's like releasing something finally, you know, something that may have seemed like a burden to you previously, okay? Your challenge here is that there is something that you could be possibly avoiding or that you are avoiding making a choice about and it is maybe connected to your emotions. Um, but we will see what this is. I feel like you were invested in a codependent uh, situation or like somebody that you were very, very invested in, okay? You were, you know, pursuing somebody or there's something that you were taking action towards, but it's like you felt very dependent or very drained because it's like something that you constantly have to feed and feed and feed and feed for it to keep moving, okay? So whatever it is that drained you, Yikes, look at your person's energy. Your person's energy is the devil, king of swords, and the nine of swords. Man. Advice, take a break if it is required. Page of cups to the world, ending of some sort. But this is connected to a love offer here too. Yeah, there's somebody coming in or there is like, there are, you know, these energies of new opportunities that are showing up for you aries okay mm, for sure i said aries virgo sorry <laughs> maybe you have aries placements i don't know why i said aries all right Tell me about the two of swords for their challenge. The death card. Something is changing. Something is transforming. Are you facing it or, or are you not? Okay, with the death card, the death card does, you know, represent a change, transformation, um, some sort of forward movement as well. It is saying you know better or you can do better, okay? With the high priestess energy, it's almost like something you know the truth of. Your challenge also here has a lot to do with trusting your intuition in regards to a situation that you're indecisive about. So if there is something in your life that you feel like, oh, I'm having a hard time deciding about it, then probably you have the answer, but you're not following it, okay? What is the Fool card about? New beginnings. Mm, it's about letting go of something in the past. It's like, let's, you know, let the past stay in the past. You felt drained in this situation. For some of you, there were also maybe money-related issues. I don't know, but um, it's like a situation that you felt depleted in. Again, you know, Ten of Wands energy, feeling burdened, feeling very exhausted, um, feeling like you have a lot on your plate, okay? I feel like a lot of you are not feeling like your typical Virgo self. It's like, you know, Virgo, it is about taking something one day at a time, but also recognizing that there's not everything that you, you're going to know the answer to. Like, 
it is what it is like a lot of you will just not it's like you know when we are going through something and we're, we are going through it one day at a time we don't really notice a change but like six months from now when you look back you'll be like oh so that is why okay so even if you look at your life six months ago you you can be like oh that is why you know so it's like something is bringing you a sense of enlightenment but a lot of you at this time you're feeling stuck you're feeling stuck somewhere and you know there's this urge to just break free to let go okay with the strength energy this is you finding that inner strength the courage and don't get me wrong, you do have the courage and the strength to deal with whatever it is that you're dealing with or have to deal with, okay? But it's like oftentimes you wonder, you are hoping, wondering. Um, for some of you, it's connected to a wish fulfillment, okay? Some of you are wanting for a new start and you wonder, when is it going to happen for me, okay? Um... You want some form of a change. Maybe in regards to your money. Some of you are also feeling like your work is not being recognized. Or you're feeling a little bit lost in something. Okay. But again, I told you that this is something. Okay, your intuition is guiding you towards something that you're feeling lost about. So... Again, the answer is within you. Eight of Cups, Six of Swords, Reverse. It is really about walking away from something. Not causing a fuss about it, but walking away from something that just no longer serves you. Yeah, I feel like Virgo, the right choice right now is to walk away, to, to make a logical decision. To have a balanced approach towards something. Because it's like, you know, what is your logic telling you? What is your mind telling you? Having to like this is a fair decision okay being fair to yourself first okay because it's like on one side i'm emotionally withdrawn but on the other side but my mind won't let me okay so there comes the justice having to make a logical decision about something whoever you're connecting with they're low-key obsessed with you but they never reveal that okay this is somebody you're on their mind and when they think about you they're i feel like they're burdened by their thoughts but again with the king of swords they don't really reveal all that they don't really re yeah they don't really reveal all that but ugh, they still feel very drawn to you virgo one thing i'm getting about your person is that this is somebody who this is somebody who is a bit of a scatterbrain in general or about you i don't know but this is seeming like a person who who's confused or they think about yeah it wants reverse there's lack of communication between you and this person It, it looks like whenever this person thinks about you, they try to distract themselves, okay? What is the devil representing? This person finds you very attractive. Uh, I'm, I'm remembering, oh, they, they gave me that song. What is that? Unforgettable, unforgettable. You are unforgettable. That's not, just, that's not how it is. I should just like... What is the tune of it? I need to... Mm -hmm. Let me not sing that because... You got my point, right? You are unforgettable for this person, Virgo. I'm hearing that sound and uh, that song so loud and clear like <laughs> You feel like it's a waste of time, don't you? 
king of cups what is the king of cups in the outcome you're getting the king of cups what is the king of cups there you are to the hermit energy this is nice i feel like you're gonna find your balance and your center again you will learn to control something that is causing you a great deal of burden at this time so at the end of the day i see you connecting to yourself i see you back to your energy which is good so if there is something that's feeling a feeling a bit uncomfortable right now it won't be the case in the future advice here take a break if required take a step back Four of Swords is pre-hermit energy. It's not there yet. It's not that intense. Hot, hot conversation. There is somebody coming towards you. Maybe there's a person from the past. I don't know, a different person from this one or the same. I don't know. But there is a conversation here with somebody from the past. And there could be a so like you, you could be manifesting your soulmate in the long run. But I feel like in the short run, there's really a conversation here that you're going to have with somebody maybe even an old friend or you know some old co-worker but this is also coming with pay attention to the red flags the signs are cautioning you so there's a warning somebody's coming in with a warning sign okay and this is like different energies it's like a soulmate energy then a hot towel energy reconciliation and pay attention to the red flags there is a lot happening. My goodness. That's it, Virgo. Thank you so much for being here. I will be linking the reading about your person underneath the video if you're interested. Take care and bye-bye.